بسم الله والحمد لله حمد كثيرا طيبا مباركا فيه كما يحب ربنا ويرضى وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه وسلم تسليما كثيرا اما بعد يا ايها الاخوه as we come to a benefit باذن الله تعالى a benefit that we can all take some lesson from inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala as we look around and see the situation around us in regards to the killing, the police brutality, the police brutality and killing of innocent people. So we want to mention some points bithnilahi to Ida. As it is mentioned that <coughs> there's a continuous rise and police brutality everywhere around the world, especially in the power, hungry, democratic countries of the world. Mainly, ya ayyuhal ikhwa, the places such as the U.S. and France and India and Russia and the Philippines. Wahakada ya ayyuhal ikhwa. And new laws are being introduced to give the police officers more authority and immunity from criminal prosecution. So these laws are being introduced, especially to suppress the voice of the oppositions and to oppress the minorities without the fear of any persecution or consequences or backlash from the public. There is more police brutality in the democratic countries than anywhere else. The systematic oppression and killing of African Americans Pay attention. The killing of African Americans in the U.S. and the punishment against the Muslims in India and Burma and in China and racial attacks on the minorities in different parts of the world are being carried out with the help of the police and the army personnel. So it is something that we need to pay attention to. And this is not a light matter, ya ayyuhal ikhwa, that you see every time you hear on the news, every time you witness it in real time, in real life, you see that this is taking place of individuals being murdered and killed in the hands of the police. You see that individuals are getting murdered and killed or coming up missing in the hands of those who say that they are going to protect us of those who say that they are the ones who is going to protect us. But rather you see that they are the ones that is doing the killing. They are the ones that is doing the murdering. And you see that this power structure that they have with them of killing individuals and innocent people, you see that this is taking place in America and in other places, ya ayyuhal ikhwa. So the police, so the people, who are supposed to uphold the new law. Naam, the police, who are supposed to uphold the law and maintain peace and security, are the ones who are worse in torturing. They are the worst in torturing the minorities in many of these countries, torturing the, the poor, torturing the poor, those who are in need, those who are in need of our care. But you see that the police, and other than them, are carrying out their actions of aggression and racism and stereotype. You see that in many of these countries, torturing the poor has no consequences. So all this was prophesied by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. All of this was prophesied by the Prophet Alaihi Salatu Wasallam over 1400 years ago. And a severe punishment awaits these perpetrators in the hereafter. So we will mention the important points from these ahadith, ya ayyuhal ikhwa. And this is from the statements. What we just mentioned is from the statements of Shaykh al Uthaymeen rahimahallahu ta'ala. We will mention some points from the ahadith, ya ayyuhal ikhwa. As the saying of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, two other types of deniers or two of the types of people. As it is 
mentioned. Naam, that's one. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala informed the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam about them, about these individuals. The denizens. He said, these types of people did not exist in the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam And he had not seen them before. He had not seen them before this. Such people did not exist in the early generations. Such people did not exist during the early generations. The saying of the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam, men with whips, like the tails of cow. What this mean, ya ayyuha al-ikhwa? What is meant by this? Is that those who strike people for no legitimate reason, like the oppression, like the oppressive police or others, what that is on the... With that is on the orders of the, of the state or otherwise. So we see here what this means is men with whips, like the tails of cow, those who will be striking people and harming people and abusing people, oppressing people for no reason. The majority of the people who are at the receiving end of the police brutalities are the weak and the innocent, while the affluent ones get away with crimes because of their wealth and social status and race privileges. Nam ya ayyuhal nas. Pay attention. The majority of people who are at the receiving end of the police brutalities are those who are less fortunate, those in the hood, those in the ghettos, those who cannot afford, those who are less fortunate, those who are without, meaning the weak and the poor and the innocent, while the affluent individuals, they get away with murder. They get away with the crimes because of their wealth and social status and race privileges. So the whip mentioned in the hadith can also refer to the other weapons. So this whip that we mentioned in the hadith, men with whips like the tails of cows, it is mentioned that the whip mentioned in the hadith can also refer to other kinds of weapons which are employed by the police officers, including sticks and batons and strutchens, and firearms, and pepper sprays, and tear gas, and shotguns, and other than that, ya ayyuhal ikhwa. So this has been prophesied by the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and this is something that is going on in this day and time. Naam ya ayyuhal ikhwa, as Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu reported, Allah's messenger alayhi salatu wa salam, he said two are the types of den denizens of hell, whom I did not see, people having flogs, like the tails of cow, with them, and they would be beating people, and the women who would be dressed but appear to be naked, who would be inclined to evil, and make their husbands inclined towards it. Their heads would be like the human, their heads would be like the humps of the Brooklyn camel, inclined to one side, and they would not either, they would not enter paradise, and they would not smell its odor, whereas its door will, sm will be smelt from such and such distance. And also it comes, and this is this hadith is in Sahih Muslim. And also, two other types amongst the deni denizens of hell. The one possessing whips like the tail of a cow. And they flog people with their help. The second one, the woman who would be naked in spite of their being dressed, who are seduced to the wrong paths, or seduce others with their hair high like humps. So these women will not get into paradise, and they will not perceive the odor of paradise. They will not smell its odor. Although its fragrance can be perceived from such and such distance, from a long distance, ya ayyuhal nas. Wa hakada and this hadith is in Sahih Muslim Aidan. Wa Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. Allah's Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam. He mentions, it is soon going to happen. If you survive for a time, you will certainly see people who would have whips in their hands, like the tail of a cow. They would get up in the morning under the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they will get into the evening, they will go into the evening under the anger of Allah azza wa jalla. So these individuals 
who will be oppressing people. They have an agenda. They wake up with this on their mind of harming people, of torturing people, of planting things on people, and oppressing individuals. And then also, and the even they have this as well on their minds, of, of harming the minorities, of harming, of, 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 of abusing the authority upon, upon people. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu, he mentions, if you live for a time, you will certainly see people get up in the morning in the wrath of Allah, with the wrath of Allah upon them, and, and go into the evening under the curse of Allah Azza wa Jal. And it would be in their hands, whips like the tail of cow. They would be in their hands, weapons, killing individuals, murdering individuals, for no reason. As it is mentioned. So, Imam Nawi rahimahallahu ta'ala, he explains this, ya ayyuhal nas. And this is something that is taking place in his day and time. This is something that is taking place with individuals, with police, and other than them from that culture. And other than them from this culture that they thrive upon. From this white supremacist culture. This is something that they been upon. This is something that America been established upon. Of oppression. So, Imam uh, Nawi, rahimahallahu ta'ala, he mentions this hadith is one of the miracles of the of prophethood for these two types of people were not present during the time of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam they have appeared and they exist now with regard to those who would have whips there are those who work for the police as it is explained by imam al-nawi rahimahullah as is mentioned those who have whips there are those who are the police, or those who work for them. <coughs> and, it's, it's, uh, and this is in Shahr of Imam al nawi and this is in uh, Sahih Muslim, Sheikh Sheik bin Baz, rahimahullah ta'ala. He mentions, this is a stern warning that should be carefully regarded. The men, and who, the men, the men whose hands are whips like the tails of cow, are those who strike people unjustly such as the policemen and others, whether that is done by order of the states or otherwise. For the state is only to be obeyed in ma'roof, that which is judged as good and beneficial or fitted by the Islamic law and Muslims of sound intellect. The Prophet, alayhi salatu he said, obedience is mandatory only in ma'roof. Obedience is only mandatory in that which is good. He, alayhi salatu wa salam, he also said, there is no obedience to anyone with disobedience to Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is in Majmu'a Fatawa of Ibn Abbas, radiallahu, rahimahallahu ta'ala. Shaykh what they mean, rahimahallah, he mentions, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed that there would be two types of people which the people did not see. They did not exist in, in his time. The first category includes those who would use aggression against people unjustly and unlawfully, misusing their power and their violence against them, abusing their authority against the people, and torturing them, and in other instances, raping them, raping the women, and using their authority unlawfully, misusing their power and their violence against them. They are the people who would be carrying whips, which would be similar to the tails of cow, and with which they would be flogging people unjustly. So the scholars, rahimahum Allah ta'ala, have said they are the police, the oppressive police, who would beat people unjustly. And they would be denizens of the hellfire. Because whether AIDS, because whoever AIDS, an unjust ruler, would be entitled to what he deserves because of his sins. Whoever AIDS, an unjust ruler, whoever AIDS, this oppressive the oppressive and the, the people that's doing the oppression, the people that is in power, the people that is in authority, who have authority, whoever aids them in this oppression, will be entitled to what he deserves because of his sins. And this is in the fact of Tawa of Nurun, Nurun al Darb, of Shaykh Uthaymeen rahimahullah, and the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, two other types of denizens of hell, whom I, whom I did not see, 
people having flat flods like the tails of the cow with them and they would be beating people. So the scholars have said that they are the police who beat the people unlawfully and unjustly and they will have whips which resembles the long tails of the cow beating people with it. But as for beating the one who has transgressed, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he mentions so the one, the woman, who, the woman and the man guilty of Ill illegal sexual intercourse, flog each of them with a hundred stripes. Let not pity withhold you in their case, and the punishment prescribed by Allah Azza wa Jalla. So this is just. This is justice of beating the one who has transgressed. In the case of a transgressor, no pity is to be shown but to flog them as prescribed. But as for those who beat people unlawfully, unjustifiably, then they will be among the denizens of the hellfire. And we seek Allah's refuge from this. And this is in the shahar of Riyadh al-Salihin by Shaykh Uthaymeen, rahmatullahi alayhi. And Qadi Iyad, rahimahallahu ta'ala, he mentions about this hadith that the two other types of the denizers of the hell, whom I, did not, whom I did not see people having, whom I did not see, people having flies like the tails of the cow with, with them, and they will be beating people. He mentions rahimahallahu ta'ala. It may mean, he said it means, fire has been guaranteed for them because of their oppression, cruelty, and their unjust the unjust, elongated beating of the people with these whips or objects, with these guns, or they call them with those sticks that they have, or whatever weapon that they use, that they will have a terrible reckoning. And this is in the Shah of Sahih Muslim of Qadi Iyad, Rahimahallahu Ta'ala, Ibn Hubayra, and Ibn Hubayra, Rahimahallahu Ta'ala, he mentions from this hadith, one learns that the Messenger of Allah, alayhi salatu wasalam, prophesies that these two types of people will emerge in his ummah, who will come after him. This is why he said, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, whom, whom I did not see, that this didn't happen, this didn't take place during his time. Then he described them, he said, describe those kind of people, people having flies like the tails of the cow, meaning those people who will be in authority, but they will be abusing their power, rather than the police. So the Messenger of Allah alayhi salatu wasalam, described one of the characteristics of the people of the hellfire. If flogging people with whips is bad, then what about those who beat people with sticks and buttons? And on a similar note, with the lights of tin poles made of bamboo sticks or swords. To Allah we complain, this is regarding those who beat people unjustly and unlawfully and following their desires. This does not include the punishment carried out when, when the hudud are broken, when the set limits of Allah are broken, or as discretionary, discretionary punishment carried out for disciplinary, for disciplinary, disciplinary, or disciplining. None. So, in the saying of the Messenger of Allah, it is soon going to happen, meaning it is near. If you survive, for if you survive for a time, meaning if you live that long, you would certainly see people who would have the whips in their hands, like the tails of cows. So the Prophet ﷺ has prophesied this. And this is something that is going on. This is something that is taking place, that innocent people are getting killed. Because the police, they want to abuse their authority. Because this, this system is engulfed in abusing their power, abusing their authority, oppressing, oppressing people, killing people, torturing people. That this system is engulfed in it, is embedded in them. So they will go, they will get up in the morning, meaning they will leave the house early morning to carry out their duties. They will leave early in the morning to kill people. As you see, you know, you know, the people of color, meaning the black people can't even sit and, you know, have a good time. Or they can't even jog or run run around or, or exercise. Without someone, without them being harassed, or without them getting killed, or without them being, you know, uh, um, without them being abused. They can't do nothing. 
because they are afraid that they're going to get killed by these individuals. So we see in this day and time that this is taking place. Meaning they will leave the house early morning to carry out their duties under the under, under, under the wrath under the wrath of Allah Azza wa Jal. Meaning Allah's wrath will be upon them and they will get they will go into the even as well. Meaning they will be going out to the end at the end of the day and carrying out their duties under the sukkot, under the sukkot, under the displeasure and, and the anger of the displeasure or the anger of Allah Azza wa Jal. Meaning Allah will be displeased with them. So the sukkot is more severe. Yani a sukkot is more severe than and then uh, not than Ghadab. These are those who will be, the Ghadab is those who will be oppressed. Those who will be oppressing the people at all times. And some will, some will be harming the people in the daytime, while others will be harming them in the night times, beating, beating them with their weapons. And, the, and Ghadab, yani, this is the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah will be under the wrath of Allah, meaning the wrath will be upon them. And his sukkot, his displeasure, and anger will be upon them as well. So a ghadab can be when the younger, when, when a ghadab is a lower. It can be as lower than a sukkot. It's, yani, it's angry. At the, it's angry. Nah. But sukkot is higher in rank than that. A sukkot is yani, the wrath and the displeasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nah. The displeasure and the anger of Allah. Nah. So this is, in brief, a small benefit that we want to benefit from. Because you see in this day and time that the things are happening at their hands. That individuals are getting killed or getting hurt or injured and abused at the hands of those who say that they are here to protect and serve. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his mercy and his protection.